<clears throat> Hello vlog. My name is John Paul Sarcher. I was born in 1905 in France. Man, do I look ugly here. I'll edit that out. Anyway, I'm here today to talk about my theories on existentialism. This is my first chapter online and I'm very excited. My first principle is that things are weirder than we think. Okay? When you look at the world, it reveals itself to be much stranger than at the first glance. I mean, if you think about zodiac signs, they're always so spot on. I'm a typical cancer. Uncanny. Secondly, we must always be free. Nothing has a predetermined purpose. Adding on to that, we must not live in bad faith. To do that would be telling ourselves the world works a certain way and to close out any other options. And lastly, we are free to dismantle capitalism. The only thing keeping us from being free is money. I mean, how many times have you, yourself, denied something because of money? That's why I make it free to subscribe to my channel. I mean, capitalism, it, it makes me so angry. It's just a machine to imply necessity that doesn't even exist. Calm down, Sean. Calm down. I've spent my life teaching and writing about these principles. I've been publishing starting all the way back in 1938, all the way up into 1975. My most popular novel is Nausea, and most popular play is No Exit. No Exit is a piece highlighting existentialism by placing four characters in a room after their deaths. They're in hell, but hell's an ordinary room with just three other people. They all claim to be decent people, but after hours of arguing, they all confess to what crimes they have committed on Earth. Their real torture turns out to be each other, as they all annoy each other. Existential shows like No Exit started a whole new genre of theater called Theater the Absurd. These plays highlight my ideas of existentialism and aim to express human existence with a lack of meaning or purpose. They have unordinary characters and structure. Their ending is the same as the beginning, and the characters are often stereotypical, excluding a few very complex characters. They often have illogical speech and heavy themes of routine. Ugh. They will often end in silence. They on the only thing that peeves me about Theater of the Absurd is that they do not offer any solutions, even though I have laid it all out for them in my principles. I've actually had a few run-ins with some absurdist writers. Beckett even has the nerve to call me too philosophical, as if I didn't pave the way for him. <sighs> anyway, I'm kind of ranting here. Um, if you want to learn more about existentialism, my, my book, Nausea, it's on Amazon. I can put the link in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching very much.